Calculus. <laughs> Again. Calculus. <laughs> more, more. Keep going. Just say calculus. It <laughs> say it a lot. Calculus. 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 I like calculus. Calculus. <laughs> Perfect, dude. That's the video. Yeah, so we're doing the escalator problem from the 2018 Calc BC mm -hmm. test. Uh, so as a refresher, people enter a line through an escalator at a rate modeled by the function r, which is given by r of t equals 44 times t over 100 cubed times the quantity of 1 minus t over 300 to the seventh, while t is e greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 300, and while t is greater than 300. Uh, R T equals zero. Uh, and R T is measured in people per second. T is measured in seconds. And as people get on, they exit at a rate of 0. 0.7 people per second. Uh, and there are 20 people initially at time equals zero. Okay. So for part A, we just need to figure out how many people enter the line for the escalator. On the interval, zero is less than or equal to T is less than or equal to 300. So to do that, we simply have to integrate the rate up to t equals 300, starting at t, uh, t equals 0. So since this is a calculator question, you would simply uh, plug it into the calculator, but well, we can set up this integral first. So your limits will be 0 to 300. And you would simply substitute in r of t, which is into the integral function of your calculator with these limits and when you pl uh, plug those in you're going to go to math and down towards the bottom is fn int and then you plug in the function which is 44 times the quantity, the quantity of uh, it's t but we'll use x uh, I don't know if that didn't work or maybe this calculator is just broken. Yeah, the calculator is just broken. You, you put it This is an X. Oh, okay. That's awkward. I right, said so 44 times the quantity of X divided by 300 to the power of 3 times 1 minus X divided by 300 to the power of 7. And I think it's actually 100 the first time. So there we go. One. There we go. Alright, and then comma, then your lower bound, which is zero, and then your upper bound, which is 300. And then your variable of integration, then you hit enter, and you get a <laughs> syntax error. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, so you do x, you do your variable of integration first, then you do zero, then you do 300. Okay. Then you hit enter. The answer <laughs> should be, it looks like 243. Uh. Oh, how about you use that answer so you can press the answer button? Manipulate it. Plus one. Okay. So that that's a zero probably. Two forty. Two seventy, I 270. believe. Two seventy. I believe that's two seventy. So I think it is two seventy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So how about we subtract one and then divide by thirty? You should get nine. Yeah, so it is so 270. It's 270. Good work. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So. Dude, I'm going to do the. That's okay. We have a problem. So part B is during the time interval from 0 to 300, there are all these people in line for the escalator. 
How many people are in the line at time t equals 300? So, we know at time, we know that people have constantly been entering the escalator uh, so, and leaving. So the total number of people on the escalator, if no one has left, at time t equals 300 is going to be the answer to part A plus 20, which is the initial value. Mm -hmm. Minus this rate. Yeah, which will be minus uh, times the rate. It's going to be your answer. So the answer to part A is 270 plus 20 minus 0.7 people times the amount of seconds, which is 300. And this will get you your answer, which is 80. Which, when plugged into the calculator, is 80 people. 80 people? Let's, see. Let's double check. So 270 plus 20 is 290 uh, minus 0.7 times 300 equals 80. So there are 80 people still in line at t equals 300. That's correct. C asks, for T is greater than 300, so after T is 300, what is the first time T so there are no people in line for the escalator? That means when the total number of people equals zero. So first we have to find out how, well we know how many people are in line at time T equals 300, but, so that's 80. And we know that no more people enter the line for the escalator after t is greater than 300. So all we have to know is how long at this rate it'll take for those 80 people to leave. So simply we can set up this equation 80, which is the initial number of people at t equals 300, minus 0.7 times t equals zero, okay? And when we solve for that, we get t equals 80 divided by 0.7. 114.285. So this is the, num the time after t equals 300 that the line will first be empty. So we have to add on the initial 300. So your answer is 414.285. There's a part D, right? There is. Alright. So, part D, the problem asks you to find uh, when the minimum number of people are in line. So, you do, what you do is you take the derivative of the total equation and you set it equal to zero, as you do with anything in calculus. So, the equation for the total number of people is 20, which is the initial value, minus 0.7t, which is the rate that people leave the escalator, plus the rate that people are going on the escalator from zero to 300, which is the integral of R of t from zero to 300. So this is our equation for how many people are on the escalator at any given time t. So what we do is we take the derivative of this guy and we set that equal to zero. So the derivative of a constant is zero, the derivative of negative 0.7t is negative 0.7. The derivative of the integral will just be r of t. So this is our equation that we're going to plug into our graphic calculator. All right. So we go into y equals, and we'll plug in our equation of 44 times x divided by 100 to the power of 3 times 1 minus x divided by 300 to the power of 7 minus 0 0.7.
and we're going to go into our window and make sure that our x min is 0, our x max is 300, which are the limits for this function. And then our y scale, <coughs> excuse me, our y scale doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, just as long as it's between, obviously, a negative number and a positive number. So we're just going to leave it at 10. So when we graph this, it'll give us what almost kind of looks like a sine graph. And we're going to find our zeros. And to do that, we're going to do second calc and go to zero. And you'll select the left bound first. So our left bound, we're going to do this zero on the left first. Uh, five is going to be on the left hand side of that. And our right bound will do 100. It's going to be on the right side of that. And then you hit enter and it'll guess. So our first zero is 33.013. So, right. so our next time that we have zero people, well, so so our, our, our other times that if we plug into a equi into the equation that we will get zero are when t equals zero. Because if t is 0, r of t is going to be 0. So, because it'll be multiplied by 0, so 0 divided by 100 is 0. That will become 0. t will become 0 here. You'll be left with 0. And then we have another point on here that we should calculate that it crosses the x axis. However, we were asked to look for local mins, and we know because this is the graph of the slope. If it's going from positive to negative slope, which is what it's doing on the right, that means that the line goes up and then down. So that would be a local max, not a min. So we can discount that one. So it doesn't matter. So we know that at t equals 0, because we're told in the problem the number of people is 20, so that means at t equals 0, people are 20. Define how many people are in the line at t equals 33.013 seconds, we need to plug that back into our original equation for the number of people. And again, because this is a calculator problem, let's do that on a handy dandy calculator. So we have 20 minus 0.7 times 33.013. Then times forty four thirty three point zero one three divided by one hundred power three times thirty three point zero one three divided by three hundred to power seven. There should be one minus that actually. So we'll do one minus that. We hit enter, we're left with 20 people. The elevator. Uh, all right, turns out I entered this in my calculator a little wrong. So I accidentally put it to the power of 31. So hold on. So let's just do some number punching real fast behind the screen. There we go. Uh, when you enter the numbers correctly in your calculator, you should get 3.024 people. There we are. So as you can see, 3.024 is less than 20, so our minimum with three people. Excellent. Calculus. 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 
Calculus. Calculus. Calculus. Calculus. Calculus.